Uh, Lizzo was in the news. She wrote an Instagram post saying she just said she quit Friday. And quit means in reference, I guess, to her music career. She says she's getting tired of being put, uh, putting up with being dragged by everyone in her life and on the internet. And all she wants to do is make music and make people happy and help the world be a little better than how she found it. But she's starting to feel like the world doesn't want her in it. And that's part of the post. That that's a sad thing, but I I'm going to say some people ain't going to really like what I'm about to say. But Lizzo kind of made herself a target. Yeah, she did. She made herself a target for people to come at you because if you would have went about things totally different, your music was popping. Yeah, like your music spoke for itself. But the annex that you brought along with the music, yeah. being half naked all the time. You know, love yourself, but once you open yourself to the court of public opinion, oh yeah, you got to take what the 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 jury renders. As I've said, the real issue with Lizzo is she's a fat chick that acts like she's a skinny chick, and that's really where the the, the difficulty happens. Where she thinks people fuck with her because she's fat, and that's not true. People fuck with her because you're fat dressing like that, and you need to wear clothes that complement your body. And people will and respect pe you more. And, and, and people don't want to hear that. Yes. And that's the truth. Like, you know, if you would, like I said, if she would have came out differently, dressed appropriately, or, you know, just, yeah. you know, fitting for a bigger size woman, you come out dressed like that. And, you know, we look at your music. But now you have less clothes on, which adds to the sideshow of it. And, you know, people can be mean, ugly, and hateful. And you, she got a dose of it. I, do I personally want her to quit making music? No, because I think her music was dope. I have never heard Lizzo's music. I'm gonna be honest. I, I mean, oh yes, I think, you have. I mean, maybe <laughs> on, a, on a like a T-Mobile commercial or something. But you know, I've never like heard it on the radio, or maybe I did and didn't know it was because we don't listen to that yeah. that that station like that. They weren't playing Lizzo like that on. 97.5. Well, yeah, they were kind of, but on the other stations they were. But I thought her music was dope. You know what I'm saying? And But you know what the real reason behind all this is? That goddamn lawsuit, and it wasn't dismissed as she wanted it to be. Which lawsuit? The one where... Okay, she has several lawsuits. Yeah, I know. That's why I was like, which one? Uh, she has one filed last year by a designer and separately three of her former backup dancers... <laughs> Accused the singer of creating a hostile environment um, during a 2023 tour, and Lizzo has repeatedly denied those. Wasn't there an allegation of sexual abuse or something that's too? From the three, okay. Days ago. I, I know that's part of it, but um, she filed a motion in December to dismiss the designer's lawsuits, and the judge denied that uh, motion. So she's going to have to go through with the lawsuit. And dismiss, the judge dismissed some of the claims but allowed the case to move to trial. So she will be having to answer for, you know, this lawsuit. She can't get it dismissed. So I definitely think that plays a part in why she went about that post. And maybe, you know, she got to McDonald's late before they stopped serving breakfast. Maybe you just, or maybe she need to lay low for a little bit. Take well, a break. Know, they stopped serving breakfast at 10th and <laughs> she got there at 1040. And then it was like, just like, no, I'm no over way, everything. She's like, man, fuck this shit. I'm over everything. Just over it all. Yeah, so that could have been a factor. But this is what happens with Lizzo. And she gets so much negative uh, feedback because she didn't really cater to the audience in mass. She just catered to the handful of big girls, that little small audience. I guess they support her. But, you know, I guess she tried to play up her antics to appease them. And then she outcasted herself from the rest of potential fans. The Lakers like, game is one of the that, antics that yeah. stood out to me. That was one of the sickest moments. The, the, the Lakers game out. was the antic that that most stuck out to me. Yeah, because that was disgusting. I'm not going to say disgusting or not. I'm just going to say. she sat her bare ass in them chairs. That's true. I mean, that, 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 that that's is a true. public seat. That, 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 that's disgusting. And and it's disgusting for both the chair and Lizzo because I don't know which one is nastier. Oh, well, I'm not even going to go there. But like I said, like it's disgusting to sit your bare ass, ass on a, a seat, chair. a public like seat at that. 
But that was the one that I remember was like, you might have went a little bit too far with this one. Yeah. Like, that might have been the one that was like, you might have went a little bit too far You're with this You'll forever be outcasted from, you know, normal society for doing some weirdo shit like that. Nobody appreciates shit like that but uh, other big girls. Well, I hope she I hope she finds what she's looking for, and I hope she comes back and makes music. I, like I said, well, I, I don't care if she it. does or doesn't. I, I know I'm not a big don't. Lizzo fan, but, I mean, I don't hate her enough to, like, see her do bad. I don't want to see her. I, like, I don't ever wish bad on her. Not, but I'm kind of apathetic to her. But this is what happens in life, man. You got to just get your shit together. And I don't know if that's the real her or if that's her trying to be something she's not. With all the wild clothes and stuff like that. Mm-hmm.